Hadewijk, sometimes referred to as Hadewich, Hadewig of Antwerp, or of Brabant was a 13th century poet and mystic, probably living in the Duchy of Brabant. Most of her extant writings are in a Brabantian form of Middle Dutch. Her writings include visions, prose letters and poetry. Hadewijk was one of the most important direct influences on John of Ruysbroeck. Life While little details of her life are known outside of her writings, Hadewijk may have been born in the southern part of the Flemish province of Brabant around 1200. Through her letters, it is suggested that she functioned as the head of a Beguini house prior to 1250. There, she experienced opposition that drove her to a wandering life. Among this evidence, Hadewijk herself even reflects on the possibility of a future imprisonment or exile after she writes on being exiled from other Beguines named Sarah, Emma, and Margriet. This evidence, as well as her lack of reference to life in a convent, makes the 19th century theory that she was a nun problematic, and thus it has been abandoned by modern scholars. Her writings suggest she received an education in Latin and French, as well as an expansive knowledge of religious figures including Saint Augustine. Works Most of Hadewijk's extant writings, none of which survived the Middle Ages as an autograph, are in a Brabantian form of Middle Dutch. Five groups of texts survive, her writings include poetry, descriptions of her visions, and prose letters. There are two groups of poetry, poems in stanzas and poems in couplets Finally there is the Ligst der Volmachten. List of the perfect ones. Topic: <laughs> Poems in stanzas, Strafisch Gedichten. Her 45 poems in stanzas, Strafisch Gedichten, also Liederen, songs, are lyric poems following the forms and conventions used by the trouvères and minnesingers of her time, but in Dutch and with the theme of worldly courtship replaced by sublimated love to God. Many of them are contrafacta of Latin and vernacular songs and hymns, leading to a Dutch edition renaming them Liederen, songs, and including audio recordings of performances. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Poems in couplets, Mengeldichten or berimd brieven. The sixteen works in poems in couplets, Mengeldichten, also berimd brieven, letters on rhyme are actually letters that repeat the same ideologies of 12th-century French spirituality. Although, not all of them are considered authentic. <laughs> Visions Visionen. Hadavake's Book of Visions Visionen Book, the earliest vernacular collection of such revelations, appears to have been composed in the 1240s. It prominently features dialogue between Hadavaik and Christ in visionary speech, an early example of this mode of vernacular religious instruction. Letters 31 prose letters also survive. Here, Hadavaik explains her views, which gives some context about her life. Hadavaik writes that she experienced such passionate love from God which can be ascertained as the beginning of her form of mysticism in the physical sense. The letters continue to describe her concept of Min by detailing her reaction to life events. In her 25th letter, Hadavake addresses her reader to send messages to various women who are perhaps those whom she lived with. She also declares that, Sarah may well leave me to my wandering. The wandering that Hadavake mentions can be read as either a literal physical wandering or it could be read as a theoretical wandering as Hadavake explores her own beliefs. Reading Hadavake's 25th letter as autobiographical is problematic because later in the same letter she writes that there is an us to be lived with, as she pleads to the reader to speak with a woman named Margriet about the dangers of pride. In letter 26, however, Hadavake continues writing as though she is still part of a community assumably the one she priorly belonged to despite her literal wandering about. Due to this, it seems clear that Hadavake belonged to a specific group of fellow believers and that she left either by exile or her own volition. 
Through these letters which give minor autobiographical details, Hadavake offers a mystical didacticism to dealing with concerns including pride, loneliness, and love. <laughs> Lijst der Volmachten The Lijst der Volmachten List of the Perfect Ones is attached to the visions in some manuscripts, and to the poems in stanzas in more recent ones. It lists several saints, such as Bernard of Clairvaux, but some entries are more remarkable, like a Beguini who had been condemned to death by the Inquisition. <laughs> Min Min is Hedevake's central concept, and it acts as the focal point of her belief system. Scholars have debated as to what Min refers to, and some views identify the word as a conception of a divine entity. She writes in her eleventh letter that she first experienced Min in the tenth year of her life. Hadavake describes the love as something so powerful that she feels as though she could have died without being given a special power to withstand it by God. Hadavake's Min is a nuanced form of love because it cannot come without a secondary power being conferred to tolerate its energy. At the same time, Min is not simply a state of being for Hadavake, because it must be achieved through specific deeds because its presence is not a given through the deeds and charity of the desirer. The attainment of Min is always in question, as well, because although Hadavake writes about her experience in Min, her stanzas often address the believer to put their trust in love which suggests Min is an unreachable end and not an experiential state. Despite Min sounding like an experience, Hadavake directly writes that, "...love is all," which seems to suggest Min is present in all things, or that the capacity to see or engage Min is within all things reflexively. In the sixteenth letter, Hadavake writes that Min is the "...glue that binds," God to the soul and that God's energy is an invitation offered to existence to experience his love. Hadavake uses the word, Oruwe, to conceptualize the feeling of having once been affected or tied to the feeling of men through God in the desire for its reattainment. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Gender transferal. Hadavake refers to a masculine lover throughout her letters and poems, but the masculine gender changes to the feminine when she describes the power of God. In one passage she writes, Love, you were God's counsel when he made me man, but now you let me perish in misery and I blame you for all that comes over me. I once believed that I was loved by love, but now it seems that she has rejected me. Hadavake writes that she is man, but that the God she is writing of is also a he. Through her writings, she maintains that the love that exists within and from God is a she. Hadavake writes that the divine he is not the experience that she desires because she instead wants to be entwined with the she, the love. Hadavake's mysticism becomes an experiential devotion that does not directly desire God, but the experience of love that exists within all, and is thus godly in its own conception because of her gendered distinctions. Through the use of gendered pronouns, Hadavake also gives judgment-centered agency to both love and God for they both have the ability to reject the believer due to their own conditions. As a result, Hadavake's mysticism gives agency, dualism, and gender transferal, to her god. <inaudible> <inaudible> Influence and contemporary scholarship Hadavake's writings influenced Jan van Roosbroek both as a theologian and a mystic. Along with scholarly and theological influence, Hadavake has also been placed within many anthologies of Dutch literature and is considered part of the country's literary canon. Re-emergence Hadavake's work was lost to scholarship after the mid-16th century. In 1830, historian and professor Franz Mohn discovered two of Hadavake's manuscripts in the Royal Library of Brussels. Due to the hybridity of styles throughout her body of work, several sources have identified Hadavake's work as a central component of the national literary canons in the Netherlands and in Flanders. Internationally, Hadavake's work as a medieval mystic became the center of contemporary scholarship after a complete edition of her work was published in 1980 through Paulist Press. 
As a result of Hattavake's emergence in contemporary scholarship, many popular theorists, including the psychoanalyst Jacques Lacan, have specifically referenced and quoted her. Jacques Lacan's reference to Hattavake came during Seminar XX, in which he discusses jouissance. In the Lacanian system, manque is a concept in which desire is present due to a lack. In Seminar XX, Lacan explains that much like the project within his Acres, Hadavake and other female mystics of her type are engaged in ejaculation that comes from beyond the pleasure principle. From this, desire is experienced on the part of the mystic to return to the state of presence. The subject, or believer, is always at odds with having or being within the experiential. Notes and references Sources Editions, translations, and recordings Columba Hart, ed. and translator. Preface by Paul Mamers, 1980. Hadavake, The Complete Works. Paulist Press. ISBN 0-8091-2297-9. Marika J E H T. Van Bost, Essay and Translations. Preface by Edward Schilbeeks, 1998. Poetry of Hadavake. Peters. ISBN 90-429-0667-7. Edited, introduced, and translated into modern Dutch by Virla Freiters and Frank Willard, with a reconstruction of the melodies by Louis Peter Gripe and Recordings, 2009. Lederen, Historisch Uitbeverage. ISBN 978-90-6554-478-0. OCS1 maint. Multiple names authors list link cs1 maint extra text authors list link topic studies swan laura the wisdom of the beguines the forgotten story of a medieval women's movement bluebridge 2014 daily patricia 2013 living song dwelling in hadavake's lederen Promised Bodies, Time, Language, and Corporeality in Medieval Women's Mystical Texts. Columbia University Press. pp. 123-56. Freighters, Virla Hadavake of Brabant and the Beguini Movement. A Companion to Mysticism and Devotion in Northern Germany in the Late Middle Ages. Brill. pp. 49-72. McGinn, Bernard the Flowering of Mysticism. pp. 200-244. Mamers, Paul 2005, Hadavake, Writer, Beguini, Love Mystic, Elizabeth M. Dutton, Trans, Peters ISBN 90-429-1392-4 Rizensky, Stephen 2010. The Promise of Eternity, Love and Poetic Form in Hadavake's Lederen or Stanzaic Poems. Exemplaria, 22 4, doi, 10.1179, 10412571 x 12730486667622255 Sudam, Mary Beguini Textuality, Sacred Performances. In Sudam, Mary, Ziegler, Joanna. Performance and Transformation, New Approaches to Late Medieval Spirituality pp. 169-210 External links Quotations related to Hadavake at Wikiquote Hadavake in the Columbia Encyclopedia Hadavake at DBNL Digital Bibliotheque voor Nederlandse Letteren Introductions most of them in Dutch and various editions of Hadavake's writings in Middle Dutch Poetry by Hadavake in English translation Nicolette, Carlos Eduardo. Hadavake de Ambers, a mystica medieval esuas visos sobra o divino. In Revista Mais que Amelias, 2017 with English abstract.